Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Tiny Town Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 put out by Deligracy. So we're just starting with Cypress Handyman, if you remember from last time. And he is going to be the owner of the town. So I have built up a little house for him, but unfortunately it is raining outside. So it's going to be a little bit dreary as I try and show you what this looks like. So here's his little house. He actually has one that's made out of wood and I wanted it to be a little bit on the rundown side. And this looks great, I think. And the only problem I have, oh, wow, there is a lightning strike. Please don't strike my bee box that I just bought. It was really close to it. Hopefully the bee box can't get struck by lightning because it's actually got bees oh no it can it can get struck by lightning oh that sucks <laughs> anyway anyway as i was saying i have his house over here and i took a long time to make this roof i needed a roof that would work with his unique shaped house because what it boils down to is he has a diagonal lot and I didn't want to make the entire house diagonal so I only made the entryway diagonal and then the back walls are squared so basically we can have a normal house in the rest of the house and we're having a visitor over this is Jerome I don't know why but he asked to come over and it is really thundering oh so spicy so uh he likes argumentative sims eh, he befriended an argumentative sim and now he likes argumentative sims okay sure and we need to clean up the mold over here so i have actually decided on the different traits that are going to be removable for each person so i have that here so I haven't organized this too well, but just so I can remember what I assigned before. Beatrice is going to allow us to get rid of Simple Living and Grody because she is a cooking baking person. Azure is a painting person, so therefore they're going to paint over and recycle things and get rid of all the filth so she's going to get rid of filthy and reduce and recycle alice aperture is going to get rid of volcanic activity because she is associated with bread and she's going to get a dog so alice is going to be a dog person um, and i don't know if this is alice or annie because i think the name was changed at one point and so anyway, well, the photography person is going to have a dog. So they're going to get rid of the dog hangout. Then we have Ziggy Yarn, who likes cats. So Ziggy is going to get a cat and get rid of cat, cat hangout and wild foxes. Because the cats are going to chase away the wild foxes. I don't know. Well, cat, foxes are actually more associated with the dogs. But I decided that Ziggy needed two things to get rid of. Uh, Cypress Handyman, our current sim, is going to get rid of the challenges off the grid, Quake Zone, Gremlins, and the landfill lot from his uh, retail store. So he's the only one that has four, but the landfill lot is not on the tiny town. It's only on the retail stores. Opal is going to get rid of Cursed, Vampire Nexus, and Spooky, since jewelry making is more of a magical type thing i decided to get rid of most of the magical type things with that sim frank stem is going to get rid of wild prairie grass mold and creepy crawlies because creepy crawlies will infest your garden and mold is kind of related to plants and wild prairie grass is of course related to plants so anyway, that's just what I'm going to do for getting rid of the different challenges. And I'm going to choose the order of the Sims for a very specific purpose. So Cypress Handyman is basically going to go craft a dining room table and cost me 157 simoleons. 
Cypress! I did not tell you to do that. Okay, I did not know that they could do that autonomously. I know they can craft on the woodworking table autonomously, but I thought it was just limited to sculptures. I didn't know that he would actually craft furniture. Anyway, well, I guess we're making a dining room table now. I wanted to make some sculptures so I could go out to the selling table and sell some things. Uh, but this lumberjack sculpture is only worth 30 simoleons. And it doesn't seem like you can make very much that fits on the selling table that is worth very much. So the idea was to get enough for a candle making station. And then try to make some candles to go on the selling table. Because he's supposed to also be interested in candle making. The only problem with that is that... Most of the stuff that he can do that fits on the selling table doesn't really make a lot of money. The best way to make money is to make those beds and sell them in the retail store. So what I thought I would do is just continue to make things with Cypress and maybe get his significant other to run the selling table or to sell things at the retail store. So we do have to get a significant other. And Letitia was our interest from last time. Cecilia, she's no good for us. She's non-committal anyway. So if we try to see if Letitia will date us. Uh, actually, I think they're already dating. Because last time, one of them autonomously asked the other one out. And they're now boyfriend and girlfriend. But... If we can get her to marry us, or move in with us at least, then, wow, that thunderstorm is really loud. Anyway, I think we should probably wait until she's our best friend, and then ask her to move in, and not necessarily marry her yet. So let's finish the dining room table. We have to go to the retail store anyway, because to be honest... It is raining outside, and it is way too loud and too uncomfortable for him, I think, to stand outside and sell things. Well, I also built up his retail store a little bit, but it's pouring down rain here, of course, because this is also Hennifer Don Bagley. But this is the retail store, and I think it's kind of cute. Oh, Cecilia, you want to try a new career? Sure, you're a freelance programmer. Maybe you should do something more with animals since you're an animal enthusiast. All right, we actually do have a bed for sale and we could set that table for sale as well. So I downloaded a new mod from Carl and this mod is supposed to have them make friends. And so he's going to compliment her outfit and hopefully they'll be friendly with each other in order to become best friends and that way you don't have to open the social menu and also you don't have to constantly pick things for them to say i just wish there was also something that was instead of try to make friends it was try to sell something it would constantly spam uh retail socials but at least this way he can kind of intermix his gossiping and talking to Letitia with also trying to sell things. Oh, it stopped raining. Well, not really stopped raining, but at least is not raining so hard. It's not thunderstorming outside. We can ask her to join household, but we can't ask her to be best friends yet. Okay, kid, are you going to buy the bed or the table? The bed. And now it's pouring down rain again. Is Cypress going to be neat? Well, <laughs> I'm going to say no, because unfortunately he's going to be around a lot of dirty things, and that's going to make him super uncomfortable. And also, Cypress likes shabby items. He likes shabby decor. I don't think a neat person would like decor that is run down at least i mean because it looks messy i don't think neat is appropriate for him so i'm going to say no normally i just accept all of those things but in this case their character is already written so if it seems too out of character i'm not going to accept the 
defaults. Simon! Simon, can you please buy the table? Your bar was almost full, and I need to go home. Finally, he's buying it. All right, we can finally close the store. It looks like we have another refrigerator outside to repair, but I'm going to leave that for next time. All right, it doesn't look like anything else was left. Yeah, that's one thing that is good for Cypress is that since he's on a landfill lot, it was an actual garbage dump that we bought and built this retail store. He gets things for free that he can then repair and sell. And that is the handiness skill. Uh, so I am counting that. It's not just woodworking, it's handiness. All right, inspecting the damage, I have to replace my bee box. And this bench was also burnt, but since it's in the community space and I really don't have a use for it, I'm just going to leave it. It was a free item anyway, and I'm not paying 145 simoleons for that bench. Let's see, we got a furium, and we also got a pineapple. We have a spoiled omelet. I'm not sure if I want to eat that. The one good thing about having the dumpster is that they can die for meals. So I went ahead and got rid of the cooler because that was free. And I got rid of the tent that was free. So he no longer has anything that was free from the beginning. And I even purchased his... No, actually I didn't. All right, there we go. I subtracted the 750 for the woodworking table, and that should cover everything that he was given for free. Oh, we got a moral mushroom. Well, those grow in summer and spring, and so does the pineapple. So we're making a community garden over here just by planting the random things that we find in the dumpster. I might eventually build a greenhouse, but I think the next one who is going to be our sim to move into Tiny Town will be the one that gets rid of the cursed lot trait. So the jewelry maker. Oh, another person has asked out Cecilia. All right. So yes, romance is in the air. Go ahead, Cecilia. You are noncommittal and you keep going out with different people. I think we definitely dodged a bullet there. Well, it is nice outside. Maybe I should try to sell my lumberjack statue. Even marking this up 300%, I'm only going to make 120 simoleons. And I make over a thousand simoleons from making a bed. So yeah, that's why I don't really do the table too often. We'll do it once or twice. Oh, hi, Cecilia. I just talked to you on the phone. Well, that was easy. I thought it was supposed to be if you had a high markup that you wouldn't sell it very quickly, but I never notice a difference. All right, let's go ahead and buy the candle making station. Only thing is we need more bits and pieces, and I think we also need wax. We can purchase soy wax for 16 simoleons. Now, I know what you're thinking. The beeswax is free, so therefore the uh, overhead for making candles is less than the overhead for making woodworking. Um, you would be wrong because you have to buy the bee box or you have to find soybeans and plant them and then wait for them to grow, which, which takes forever. So um, yeah, the overhead for candle making is just a little bit too much for me. It's not necessarily the cost overhead, but it is also that. Uh, it's also the time overhead because you have to wait for either a soybean to grow and be able to harvest wax from the soybean or a bee box to generate wax from the bees and that takes a long time and this bee box cost 212 simoleons and the soy wax is only 16 simoleons so i would basically be able to afford 13 candles before the bee box starts paying for itself do you know how long it takes this bee box to generate 
13 things of wax, probably 13 sim days. Um, that is not enough <laughs> to justify buying it, but I bought it anyway because I do like the gameplay value to consider that you're being sustainable. I do like the gameplay value, but do not think that it is cheaper that way because it is not. Oh, look, the garden shop has some soybeans. That's lucky. Only 13 simoleons. Now, I made this little garden area where it's actually covered. And I bought some, well, I rebought the bees. And I got some laundry stuff. So now we will have to do laundry. And I completely forgot about the pillars. So, yeah, there's a grass roof since this is a garden area. And let's see, what kind of pillars do we want? I'm kind of feeling those pillars. Do we need to extend the roof a little bit? Yeah, that looks better. All right, so this will actually be producing a little bit of water. So this will actually make our candles free, but it still takes a long time to make them, in my opinion. And I think that in spite of having free ingredients, it's still not going to be as much as of a profit as woodworking is. Oh, I just remembered. Letitia is a pizza delivery person, and I'm pretty sure that she lives by herself. So if we try to add her to the household, we're going to have that add household bug. Okay, Cecilia is a shelf stalker at the Buy Mart Snack Company Incorporated. Interesting. Okay, this is normally a bad idea, but he wants to find his soulmate. So if he talks to Letitia about marriage... Oh, they got a positive sentiment. Okay, I'm going to take that as it's meant to be. We're going to dive for thrills and then propose. That also takes care of his fun need. All right, I might have to take a walk to the pea bush first. Hold on, Letitia. I'll be right back. Jerome, you can go home. I'm busy right now. They aren't best friends yet, though. Okay, now we're best friends. Now I can propose. Now, Letitia, you had best say yes. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say that I was going to be crushed if she rejected him because they're perfect for each other. Okay, we're going to elope immediately because that's how all of these are going to go down. I'm not going to do any weddings. I'm just too impatient for that. The only thing is we can't have her join the household this way. We'll just have to cheat to add her. Yay for Cyprus! Okay, and Letitia has the Zen Guru aspiration okay i guess that's okay i'm not sure if we'll work on that we probably won't she is however a recycled disciple and normally i do not like recycled disciples to be part of the household but we'll have to make an exception for her oh and letitia likes gardening okay that's a good one I'm spending some time here at the lot so these plants will grow and so that these bees will probably get... Oh, we have some honey already, but no beeswax yet. Well, I'm going to try selling his statues on the selling table. They don't fit on there too well because they're pretty large, but these are at least... Oh, 60 simoleons. Oh, that's pretty good. I guess because they're excellent, they're actually more expensive than normal. I'm used to them only being 30 simoleons, which is twice what it costs to make them. Oh, and I can finally collect some beeswax and some honey. Okay, Cypress can now make tubs on the woodworking table. So I think the next order of business is to s build a little common area out here with a bathroom and possibly a tub and I'm going to get rid of all of the starter stuff that everyone has and Cypress is going to purchase the next person's beginning stuff from his own funds and that's how we're going to give the next person their start. The one good thing about the selling table is that things sell a lot faster than they do at the retail store. And now we have toxic mold. I wonder why. 
Look at all these pet puddles. Oh, there's also a puddle next to the shower. Well, um, yeah, that would make sense. We'll mop the puddle in here first. We don't care about the puddles outside. Well, we're starting on our candle making journey, and I just don't have a lot of faith in this because this takes forever. Okay, that actually didn't seem to take as long as I remember, and it didn't seem to take as long as the woodworking. So maybe candle making is worth it. The only thing is I do not have enough wax. I got one beeswax for my bees. And, oh, is it enough? No, we can't collect soy wax. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do is when we get the soybeans, we're going to continuously plant them. And hopefully we'll get a lot of soy wax because we'll always plant the beans and they tend to duplicate. Whereas the bees, no, the bees are not going to be a good source of wax. They just aren't. Oh, we can finally make a double bed. We might have to increase the size of this house though, which kind of makes me sad because then I'm going to have to redo this roof. Well, at least the bees can be a little bit of a source of food. Okay, I decided to come to the store and we bought a selling table so that we could sell things at the store as well. I'm not sure why, but some of my options for the retail, like enthusing about prices and endorsing products, are like a hundred percent failure rate and it's just a little annoying okay so cypress likes homebody sims sure that sounds reasonable i think it's the enthuse about prices and my markup is a hundred percent which is basically the most expensive it can be maybe that's why they don't like it Okay, finally we sold the last bed, but we have our recycler. We might need to expand the store a little bit because especially if we're selling beds, there's really not enough room in here. And then we need to go and buy some things for the house so that it's actually a nice house. So I got a power generator, a rug, some curtains, and a stove and a sink we're pretty much on our way to having a functional house. Well, we made 10,000 simoleons. However, I spent most of it on the community building. So we put a little building in the front and I have a toilet, a sink, a Murphy bed instead of the tent, which will actually be a little bit dangerous. But we also have some vertical planters out back, which were kind of expensive, so that we can store all of our soy plants in a enclosed space and have it not take up too much room. Uh, these are the plants that would not go in the vertical planters. And we have our laundry space and our bee box out here, of course. So this little area is what is going to replace all of the free items that people get. So I'm going to take away the tents, take away the coolers, take away the skill building items, and they don't get anything except for what is in the community space. And like I said, Cypress is going to purchase whatever the next person needs. Maybe Frank Stem could be the next person to move in, or the one that gets rid of the cursed lot trait, which would be the gem collector. I haven't really decided yet. So based on which one comes next, Cypress will have to buy the skill building item that they need and place it in the community space and also make sure that it's large enough to fit inside because I have had bad luck with lightning. Now, both of them are feeling pretty uncomfortable right now due to the grody lot trait. So maybe that would be the next one to get rid of. It seems to be pretty annoying. Why don't we go ahead and just try for baby right now? Because we need to start a family. And maybe Letitia would like to start a family with Cypress. Yes. And Letitia is eating for two. So next episode, we should have our first baby.
And we're here at the store to try and get some more money. All we need to do is sell a couple of these beds though, and we'll have enough money to continue the house. So much mold in this place. Oh, Cypress can be outgoing. That's a nice one. I'm still not getting any wax from my soy plants and my bees. So I'm pretty much having to just make lumberjack statues, which are a bigger profit, actually. Well, Cypress Handyman has reached level 10 in handiness. So now all he needs to do is finish building this little house. He also needs to get his candle making skill up, but I might just have to buy the wax. I don't think any method where I get it from the bees or the plants is going to work because these plants have been here a couple days and I still cannot collect the wax. Now Cecilia has a crush on Clement Frost. Sure, Cecilia, romance is in the air. This is what your non-committal spirit is going to do. Well, since Cypress wants to get silver on two dates, we'll go on a date. And why is there always mold in here? When it's raining, it sure does make it a whole lot harder to sell things. I'm trying to sell two more beds and hopefully get enough money to make some really good progress on the house and maybe a little bit of progress on the community space. Finally, I was able to sell one. All right, well, looks like I'm going to have to be satisfied with one. They are way too tired to do anything right now. I know it's only 8.30, but for some reason, I guess they got very, very tired because they woke up super early. That's what you get for upgrading a bed. The Sims sleep schedule gets all out of whack after that. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. All right, gremlins. I completely forgot.